I'm Robert Scoble. We're at TechCrunch Disrupt at the uh, Rackspace studio up in the front of the hall, meeting all sorts of entrepreneurs from around the world. And that's what, one thing that's really neat about this year's show is I've met uh, entrepreneurs from Korea and Israel and Chile and Brazil. And I have somebody from Startup Chile, which is a really cool incubator. I'm gonna, we're going to talk about that right now. So who are you? I'm Horacio Melo. I'm the executive director of Startup Chile. Yeah, and what, what is Startup Chile? In simple words, Startup Chile is a program from the Chilean government to attract early stage entrepreneurs to start a business in Chile. How we attract them? We provide 40K equity free, plus one year working visa and co working space, of course. Very cool. What's the culture like? What's happening in Chile? You know, what's the startup ecosystem like? And, yeah, you know, it's, it's probably not like San Francisco, right? But, no, probably not. Definitely know. not. <laughs> um, startup Chile exists because we are convinced that entrepreneurship is a shortcut to make Chile a developed country because entrepreneurship is great and we need more entrepreneurs. So the program attracts entrepreneurs from everywhere. We got applicants from more than 80 countries. Um, and they started their business in Chile. And why we do that and why it's equity free? Because we ask the founder to live in Chile for six months, which yeah. is the period that the program lasts. Why? Because we want the founder to cascade down their experience, their, their behavior and everything to make sure we have more Chileans that are entrepreneurs. No, and you know if, you, if, if a company starts in uh, Chile, uh, it brings jobs and uh, tax base, right? That's what the government's really trying to, because like we got Facebook away from Boston, and uh, now there's uh, 2,000 employees here who are making really good wages, uh, bringing that money into the local <laughs> economy, it's really great. Yeah, but reality is, as a startup Chile, we are not looking for, in the short term, an economical impact. Yeah. We are looking for this cultural shift, you know? We want more Chilean entrepreneurs to exist. So this Chilean entrepreneur probably long term will generate that uh, impact in the economy. Yeah. But short term, we want this guy to impact the culture. It's kind of hack the system in Chile so we have more entrepreneurs, more investors, and more I don't know, universities researching about it. What, what kind of companies are you seeing uh, being built? Is it mostly companies for the local market, or are there companies that are trying to go for a worldwide market? Definitely not local. We are looking for companies that want to go global, yeah. and they see Chile as a plan platform to do business, a door to open Latin America, or just to be bootstrapped because of the 40K plus the acceleration, accelerator program that we have. Yeah. And uh, what's the, the, the talent pool? Are there programmers there? What, what, kind of, what kind of special talent is there so that companies can come and hire and build their companies? We have very good developers. The thing is, is similar to Silicon Valley. Most of them are today working on a startup or working in a big corporation, so are expensive and there are not too many, but they're very good. Uh, but one of the main difference probably that we have for good is Chile is a very good platform to do business, especially in Latin America. Yeah. Uh, economically, we are going pretty well, and things work very, very well. Yeah. What else do we need to know about what's going on? Uh, you know, tell me about some of the startups yeah. that are in uh, yeah. Startup Chile. The program has almost two years, and we got plus 4,000 applications in these two years, and we already select 500 startups in different period. We have. We are going in generation five. We are just uh, receiving next week generation five. We have great startups. Actually, Babelverse has a partnership with TechCrunch Disrupt for this week. Uh, for this week, to translate online the conference to I don't know ten different languages. Yeah. And also, these guys just got funded last week from five hundred startups, which are great news for us because validate our model. Yeah. Also, we have more startups that raise money are living here in the U.S. because after the six-month program. They're free to go whenever they believe is the best opportunity for their businesses. Yeah. So it's not no string attached. It's just six months, and then you're free to do whatever you want. Yeah. What? Why Chile and not Argentina or Brazil or some other country? Because startup Chile exists in Chile. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, you probably get that question. You know, why yeah. should I come to? You know, the Argentinians are here, and the Brazilians are here. They are all given pitch to. Like, what makes Chile uh, better? Is it the weather? Actually, the, is it the uh, the great news about that? The is parties, you know. I mean, I, you know, and, <laughs> and I'm not joking. Uh, SoundCloud moved to Berlin just because they have great, uh, great parties, right? That's true. That's true. <laughs> the good thing about that, if if you ask Argentina here, there are a bunch of Argentinians that are or were part of sort of Chile. Yeah. So they are going to Chile to start businesses, and for Latin Americans in general, Chile is a good platform to do business, principally because. Economically, we are doing very well. Uh, 
So there's not a lot of chaos. Some countries there's are having no a chaos. chaos. Actually, Chile works very, very well in general. So there's no chaos and it's a good platform to do business. Yeah. Uh, very that cool. Probably that's the biggest differentiation versus Argentina, Brazil, and other biggest market. And that's also reason why we don't we are looking looking for global ideas, not those that are just focused on the Chilean market because it's too small. Yeah. It's a great place to have the platform to do business, but not to really have final market data. Very cool. Where so, do we learn more about it? StartupChile.org. StartupChile.org. Yeah. We just opened a new application process yesterday, and will remain open until October the 10th. Okay. So we're looking for more so startups. So if you guys, uh, and you, take them from, you take startups from all over the world, not just South America, right? In our office, we have from more than 30 countries. And actually, 25% of the accepted in average came from the US. Cool. And most of them from Silicon Valley, which is great. Very cool. Well, thank, thank you so much for what you're doing thank for you startups. Very much.